trying to put the oven on top of the stove. Well, not the stove, the bake pit, I guess we could call it. I don't even know. It's going to look like we're going to have these bricks maybe on one side. We'll put some kind of insulation around it to hold the heat in. But there'll be a brick up as such. Now you can have a door on the front of the bricks. And there will be a door in front of the bricks. Either out of this or that. I think that might do it. It's not going to just lean there at all. I'm going to actually set something up so it's so it can actually lift up like that as well, like this door. Mm -hmm. Nothing but the best here. And then you're gonna have to anchor it down. Once it's well, once it's covered with the, the brick and the mortar, it'll be it'll be anchored for sure. Old Steve up to now. What are you doing? Well, I'm uh, trying to insulate the oven that I'm making. I made a cage. It goes all the way around. You see, I folded pieces so it's very solid. And I'm going to put the clay through it and let it dry. Well, I'll actually light a fire in there to, to dry it out. But this is all going to eventually. It'll, it's, it's easier than putting all them brick on there. And hoping they stay with the clay, so I'm gonna just put a big clay uh, surrounding on this. You can see it's empty over here, but I put some in over here. You can see it stays fairly well behind the wire. It'll be a little uneven at first, but then later I'm gonna take this here trowel. Once that stuff dries, and I'm gonna put a nice smooth coating on top to make it look very nice. <laughs> See, it's uh, in the process of drying still. It all pulled away from the screen a little bit up here, but that's not a big deal. I'm going to put more on there anyway. And then we're going to probably put tile on top so we can use it as a counter. Uh, I tried drying some wood in it. It got up to 325, which is really cool. And that was only with one fire started under it. So, uh, And it maintained it for a little while, for about half an hour or so. But if we keep adding more coals to it, it'll definitely change it all up. And, I need to now. This doesn't work very well down here because I gotta. It, it, it allows too much smoke out, so I have to seal it all up. Obviously, you can see there's holes there and stuff. But uh, I heated it up so we could dry the clay as well. I added a chimney to keep to produce a draft, so so much smoke didn't come out the front. But now I gotta make a little chamber inside that slides in that holds coals, and we can close it up, and it'll be. Uh, It'll hold the heat for a lot longer that way, and it'll be closer to the uh, it'll be closer to the oven to heat it all up. And I added this this here's to introduce air to the bottom of the pit so that the fire can burn, and then the draft that'll be created will pull the smoke out. So we'll see how that works out, and uh, that's where we are at this point. Hmm. Hope you like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to Going Off Grid with Sandy and Steve on YouTube and TikTok. Have a great day.